Welcome to a special edition of Small Business by the Bay. We've interviewed quite a few women, small business owners over the years, and we selected just a few because their words of wisdom are simply timeless, especially during this time that is COVID. So get ready, here's a reel, let's go. Um, you don't have to say yes to everything. Um, so just try and think about what makes the most sense for your business. Um, know that you're not going to offend anyone. They're doing their job as well to reach out. Tip number two would be have a strategy. And in the first year of business, that's been challenging for us because we have so much to do, but planning ahead is key to success. It's not just the moment that they call and book an appointment that they're your client. They're your client from the minute they book that appointment to walking in the door, to checking out, to leaving, to a month later. They're still, you still have to have your hands on with them if you want them to appreciate and continue coming back to your business. So it's, they're always, your hands always have to be touching them somehow. Yeah, I think marketing should be an extension of your business. Um, I don't think it's a separate entity that you have to focus on. It should be natural. It should be an extension of you as the business owner. And whether you provide a service or a product, it should be something that, um, you know, just comes naturally that you're able to communicate. And I think um, in that capacity, you're able to tell your story much better. It's about getting to know your clients on a much more intimate level than how is your day and why are you here. Um, we started interviewing them and learning how they were spending their time. Um, and that gave us much better insight into what they were really looking for um, from a brand. Looking at your fellow small businesses is not competition, but as part of your village. Um, you need to create a shopping experience that makes people want to get out of their houses, come down and be part of something where they feel connected to something. So yeah. it's not just them getting whatever that product is. On. And along the way, we've found one of the most important things in terms of marketing and selling the business is to just really stay true to our conviction about what makes us special yeah. and not back down on any of those things. Man, great information from all those women small business owners from around the Bay Area. Hopefully you enjoy that. But before we go, I want to make sure to thank our presenting sponsor, your local SBDC. Ours is here in Santa Cruz at santacruzsbdc.org. If you're in Monterey County, it's calcoastalsbdc.com. If you're around Northern California, just go to asksbdc.com to find yours. And until next time, be sure to hit up riceroot.com. There's a search window on the homepage or a vlogs page or anywhere else. Just type in your information. Basically, any subject that you want to find out about, type it in, hit enter, and you're gonna find all sorts of results, blogs, interviews, all sorts of great how-to videos on any subject that is business or marketing related. So be sure to go to briceroot.com. Okay, see you guys next time.